In this video, we are going to explore a very interesting concept that is the concept of helisphere from a question that has recently come in Ellen score test. So this is the question. You can try the question for uh, two, three minutes. Then after that, you can come back for the solution. So question is, there is a helisphere and uh, of a secondary body, which is earth revolving around the primary body. Primary body here is sun. It is defined as the largest possible sphere in which a satellite of secondary body, which is Earth, such as Moon, will remain captive to the secondary body and not to be lost to the primary body. If the Moon goes outside the Earth's helisphere, it will be revolving directly about the Sun, not about the Earth. Then the radius, the radius of helisphere can be find, found by applying Newton's first law to satellite in a frame of reference attached to the Earth. Okay, so now he's telling us how to calculate this radius. So you have to see very carefully, but revolving around the primary body with the same angular velocity with which the secondary body that revolves around the primary body. Okay, so same omega. The Earth helisphere is much smaller than the orbital radius, hence we can use approximations. So we will now calculate the value of field radius, whether it is correct or wrong. So let me first remove this. Okay, so here, so let us understand this. So this is sun, this is earth, small one, and this is the helisphere of radius smaller. Now, what we are going to do as written in the question, we have to write equations of a satellite, this is the small satellite, with respect to the frame of reference attached to the earth. Earth is rotating with omega, so frame of reference is also rotating with omega around sun, okay? So here on this now we have to write force balance. So two obvious forces, one is the force due to uh, sun attraction force, which is this GMS m by r minus r whole square. ms is mass of the sun, m small m is mass of the satellite. And this distance you can see is r minus r, capital R minus small. And towards the earth also, you can understand this GMM by r square. Now, since we are writing the equations from a rotating frame, here comes the most important point. So there will be pseudo forces also. So one pseudo force is the centrifugal force. Now, how do centrifugal force act? Suppose there is one, uh, uh, there is one table, and if table is rotating, and suppose this is the observer, and this is the particle. So centrifugal forces from the observer to the particle, and readily outward. Okay, from the observer readily outward. Fine. Okay. So here. Let us assume observer is here at the center. Now, with respect to this observer, what is going to happen? Pseudo force, centrifugal pseudo force will be radially outward. How much? This one, m r omega square, where r is this distance. It will be up here, okay? Now, pseudo force due to earth acceleration, earth is also rotating. So the, um, the person or observer also has linear acceleration, which is, omega square r, right, towards the center. So that also will act on the particle in the form of pseudo force, since direction of acceleration is this centripetal, right? So this acceleration will also act on this in the opposite direction, ma, fine. So m omega square r, here remember, r is the radius of earth rotation around sun. Now we are going to balance these forces. So centrifugal, you can see, and uh, attraction towards sun, both are in the same direction. And the force due to Earth's acceleration is towards the Earth and the gravitational attraction of Earth. So we're ju just going to equate this and take some approximation to calculate smaller. So here, this force attraction towards Earth, and then this is the pseudo force due to Earth's center acceleration. This is centrifugal force is attraction due to sun. And here now, omega, we need to calculate omega. Omega is what? This is time period of Earth. Here, ms is mass of the sun. So omega is this. Now we are going to take these two one side and put the value of omega. So this will come. Here, you can take binomial approximation since it is given in the question. So if you take binomial approximation, it becomes this. Finally, now, if you solve this step, it's very easy to solve. After taking approximation, you will get the helisphere radius as this, right? Very simple one small r is equal to capital R, Me divided by 3ms, ms is mass of the sun. 
Now in this, if you substitute the values given in the question, we're going to get 1.5 into 10 to the power nine kilometers. So option one is correct. Now, after that, let us see option C and D. So option C here is B is of course wrong if A is correct. C option is a massive planet further away from the sun will have greater hill radius than a lighter planet close to sun. So that is what we have got R is equal to R times Me divided by three ms. So if heavier planet, greater hill radius, massive planet, mass is more away from the sun, right? Both the factors are supporting. So C option is also correct. So let me mark this A correct, C correct. Then a stable satellite of earth a stable satellite of Earth will be well within the heliosphere. Must have a time period of revolution less than seven months. So in borderline case, what we will assume that there is a satellite of Earth which is revolving just at the edge of heliosphere. And if you take this as R, and if you use this formula, which is T is equal to 2 pi R to the power 3 by 2 divided by root over G Me, because it is a satellite to Earth. So if you use this formula, you are going to get seven months, right? So this I'm leaving for you to verify this answer. So here, D option is also correct, right? So if you see, it's a very important concept in astronomy, helisphere, and this can be helisphere radius can be calculated from a very simple force balance. And in this, some approximations also you have to use. So that makes a very good combination for J advance. So this question can come as a comprehension because in this, uh, basically what you have to do, you have to write, um, uh, you have to draw free body diagram and write the equation after that, some approximation you have to take. So that is what happens in most of the questions of J advance. Fine, so uh, take this question very seriously because it can really come in J advance in the comprehension form. So that's it, that was uh, my analysis. Please subscribe to this video and please hit a like, like button also. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. All the best.